This is the close-up, a detailed view of the Dover I-2 or I-3 down section. We have the slow-speed solenoid here, the fast-speed solenoid here, we have the start, which is in for smoother, out for firmer, the stop adjuster, this also is in for smoother, out for firmer. If this is too far in, the car will go high speed into the springs, whether you're in high speed or leveling. This is your slow down adjustment. It works a little bit different than the others. It's out for smoother, in for firmer. Uh, here on the top, there is a T-handle, which is not labeled. This is manual lowering, operates like all other manual lowerings. Around on this end of the valve, we have the down main speed and down leveling speed adjuster. This is the one that confuses everyone, and this is the one that has to be moved under certain circumstances. This valve, or this adjustment, can only be made when the car is moving in the down appropriate direction. For high speed, the car must be in high speed. For leveling speed, it must be in leveling speed, or the car can be on the springs. This is the close-up section of the internal view of the Dover I-2 and I-3 series. This cutaway section is to help you get a better idea for what's happening inside the valve. The portions that are painted red are the body of the valve, and they're there just to highlight the, uh, what the pistons are doing inside the valve. There would normally be a spring right here and a closure that would hold the down piston in as far as it would go. This is the adjustment that confuses most people. This is the down main and down leveling speed adjustment. The adjuster that we pointed out earlier on the outside of the valve is inserted into the back of the down piston on this roll pin right here. As you rotate this adjustment, the mechanical advantage of the thread allows the piston to stroke either longer or shorter, giving you a faster or slower speed. But at the same time that this piston is adjusting the stroke length, it is also, as it's rotating, adjusting the length of this or the height of this cam. You'll notice that the cam starts off at a high position here, and as it rotates around, it goes to the low position, then it immediately goes to the high position again and comes back to the low position. The elevation is the, of the cam is the same every 180 degrees. So what we have here would be the same elevation that we have here. This is critical because when we are adjusting the down main speed adjuster, we are rotating this piston and changing the elevation of the cam. If you look closely in the bottom of the piston uh, bore here, highlighted in red, there is a hole in the bore. This hole is what interacts with the cam to yield a leveling speed. And you can see as you rotate, it cuts off the flow of oil going into that cam. If you're running high speed and you try to touch up your high speed by changing even just a quarter of a turn, you will automatically dis uh, or change your leveling speed and it will disrupt it. You'll either be in high speed or you could be stopped. In a half a turn, excuse me, a quarter of a turn, you can go from zero feet per minute to high speed in a quarter of a turn. This adjustment, as I mentioned earlier, can only be made when the car is running in the appropriate down direction. If you're trying to adjust the high speed, it must be done in high speed. If you're trying to adjust leveling speed, it must be done in leveling speed. If we can master this adjustment, we can take most of the fear out of the Dover I-2 valve. This completes the down module for adjusting Dover I-2 and I-3 series valves.